Hello, Jack Middleton, the Empowered Vegan here, and today we're making soup. What kind of soup, you might ask? Butternut squash and apple soup, because what I told you last week was fall is here. Summer is over. It's time for that deep descent into the dark, delicious recesses of fall in Southern Ontario. So why do I like fall so much? Because you're basically given a license to eat really heavy, delicious, thick, stewy, creamy foods all of the time. Yeah, so I love fall. Why don't we jump right in? So soups are one of my favorite things to make. Why? Because they're so dead easy. And because when you make soups, you have all these vegetable scraps left over that you can use to make stock. And then you can use that vegetable stock to make more soup. It's like this circle of life between stock and soup. Soups might be one of my specialties. I have made hundreds of soups. We're gonna make a butternut squash and apple soup. So first things first, you wanna get your squash into the oven because it takes like 40 minutes to cook and you can prep everything else for the soup in that time while you're waiting for it to be done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those squashes, we're gonna peel them, and then we're gonna chop them up. And I'm gonna show you how. Once you've got them chopped up, you wanna to toss them with just like a pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, and then you're gonna to toss them around in a bowl. You don't have to toss them like that, you can move them around with your hands. Make sure you have your oven preheated. I didn't say that, but it needs to be preheated to 425. Once that oven's ready to go, spread out all those butternut squash onto the sheet and use parchment paper. All right, it's time for a cooking PSA. If you don't use parchment paper, go get a roll of parchment paper. Because when you spread parchment paper over a baking sheet and you put greasy shit on it, the parchment paper soaks up most of the grease and anything that cooks on there and makes a crust forms on the parchment paper. So it makes for a really easy cleanup. And let me make a distinction between wax paper and parchment paper. They're not the same thing. If you put wax paper in the oven, it's gonna start smoking like crazy. Go get a roll of parchment paper. Okay, moving on, pop those babies in the oven. While those are in the oven, we can do everything else. So next thing you wanna do is chop up your veggies. You're gonna slice up your onions, dice up your carrots, dice up your celery, slice up your mushrooms. Wait, none of those things are in this recipe. Okay, let me redo that. You're gonna slice up your onions, mince up your garlic, chop all of your veggies. We're gonna just do that right now. We're gonna get that out of the way because then when we have that done, we can start sauteing down, we can start cooking everything else. This is gonna be my shortest video yet. This is amazing. This video is probably gonna get 500,000 views. Okay, okay, once we've got all of our things chopped up, the next thing that we wanna do is we want to put them into a pot in a very specific order and a specific timing. So first thing that we do is we put our onions in. Then you can add your salt in. Why do we put our salt in early? Because then we get to season everything at the deepest level. Salt enters food through osmosis. So if you put salt on the top of your food at the table, you're literally just seasoning one layer of food with a fair amount of salt. If you put salt into a dish and cook it down and mingle it with all the other vegetables, flavors, etc., it's gonna penetrate deeply into the food 
and you're gonna get seasoning all throughout instead of just on one point. Really important, you should write that down. Sweat those down, sweat those down. It's okay if they get a little bit of color, no big deal. Then you're gonna add your celery in once your onions are a little bit translucent. Okay, so your onions and your celery are sweating down. What's next? You're gonna throw in your garlic, and then we add in our spices, and you're gonna toast those babies. You're gonna grate, if you, you don't have to grate in nutmeg, ground nutmeg is fine. I'm pretty sure that the recipe just calls for ground nutmeg. I've just had fresh nutmeg, and fresh nutmeg is lovely. It's important that when you've got your spices cooking on the stove that you don't leave, don't go check your Instagram, don't go tend to your children. Your commitment is to toasting the spices. Everything else, all of your other roles melt away in this moment. You are no longer a parent, you are no longer a friend, you are no longer a child. That's it, nothing more. Do not let them burn. Okay, so once you've cooked the spices without letting them burn, next you're gonna pull your squash out of the oven and you're going to stick it in the pot with the rest of the ingredients, mix it around, and then you're gonna add in your stock and that's gonna stop the cooking process. It'll keep those spices from getting over toasted. Over toasted just means burnt. Oh, you can throw in your lemon juice too. Okay, next thing's next. You're going to bring it up to a boil. You're gonna turn it down, drop it to a simmer, drop it to a simmer, drop it to a simmer. You're gonna drop it to a simmer, and then you're going to, then you're just gonna let the flavors mingle, let it cook down a little bit for about 10 minutes, and then you can puree it. And that's it. See, what was this video? It's like no time. You have time to watch another one. Go watch another one. Next week, we're going straight into entree land. So get ready for some deliciousness coming up straight to you, served up on the Empowered Vegan channel. Next week, get ready. You're not gonna know what hit you. So if you like this video, like it, comment, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more, because I can tell you there's gonna be more. There's gonna be a lot more. These aren't gonna stop. They might not ever stop. I could be doing this until I die. I'm not sure yet, I haven't decided, but I'm definitely gonna keep rolling out videos every single week for your viewing pleasure. That's something that I absolutely categorically know for sure without a shadow of a doubt. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Hope you're actually gonna make it and you have yourself a great weekend.